Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy over Smoon. So, in the last episode, I made a mistake and got rid of the milk I needed. That's really all you need to know, but in this episode, I'm hoping to, you know, see how I do in the milk show, maybe get some fish and, fit, you know, figure out the money situation. I don't know. I don't have everything planned out yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. I love milk. They say you grow big and strong if you drink milk. Yeah, okay. I... I really wish I'd remembered. It would've been so perfect to have that milk. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure tomorrow is the day that I actually get more milk. I can try just to see if I mess something up or something, but... I know I didn't. Yeah, that hurts. Alright, well, we're not entering the- well, I guess we can enter, but we're not winning the competition. Morning. I don't really like milk all that much. My mom tells me I should drink it, though. So happy. Morning. It's the dairy show today. I love milk. It's great. And Savior hates milk, that's why he doesn't grow taller. Good morning. Actually, I can't drink milk, but don't tell anyone. He's actually lactose intolerant. Fun fact. Good morning. Milk is great, I love it. Morning. I don't like milk. I mean, we all know that. Nice. Thanks, I'm mm -hmm. Milk has a lot of nutrition. You really should try to drink it every day. Morning. I'm entering the dairy show too. May the best man win. I mean, I would win if I hadn't been dumb and stupid. But I mean, I'm I'm sure the second best man might win this. Good morning. So it's the dairy show today. Even at my age, I'm drinking the stuff every day. I. Today is the dairy show, isn't it? I hope you get some good milk from the Buffer Moose. Thank you. I'm useless in tournaments like the dairy show, but I'd take the I'd take the top prize in any drinking match. <laughs> drinking milk on a daily basis is good for your health, that's a medical fact. Today's the dairy show. I drink milk every day. It's good for your body and it tastes great. I drink milk every day. Good morning. It's the dairy show today. Do you like milk, Raguna? I love it. I do like milk. Just like you like radishes. Thank you very much. Good morning. It's the dairy show today. Saying that, why is it that adult stomachs rumble when they drink milk? Good morning. It's the dairy show today. There are plenty of cocktails that use milk. But of course, kids can't drink them. Good morning. It's the dairy show today. Raguna, are you taking part? I will. I would not be winning, but I will. Man, I wish I wasn't so dumb. Morning. It's the dairy show today. I wonder if Kane misentered. Of course he did. He's not dumb like me. Morning. The dairy show, eh? Of course, it was Daddy who started it. Daddy likes to eat anything he put in his mouth. He has to be respected for that. It's the dairy show today. Mr. Jasper loves his milk. He drinks about three cups a day. You surprised me when we first met, and you're still surprising me today. Just because I'm small, you think I didn't drink milk as a kid? Well, I actually love it. Well, this is a level 11 snapper. Thanks, I love the snapper. Knowing my taste is one of your good points. I want to check. Does that... I'm trying to remember how to get love points with May, and it may not be possible. I <laughs> get it. Uh, but, you know, I figured I would try giving her higher level fish. Good morning. I almost passed out waiting for today. It's the dairy show. I can think I can drink gallons of milk, so keep it coming. Good 
Thanks for the small milk. I'll try it right away. Hmm. I've sampled all this year's milk, and so it's time to announce the winner. And the winner is Camus's milk. Congratulations. Well, it's too easy, really. Here's 5,000 G in prize money. I can't wait for next year. So, I think that means we got 5,000 G in prize money? I'll check that real quick. Okay, so we got the third place prize. If you had gotten second place, you would have got 30,000 G, and if you got the... Yeah, okay. If you got first place, you would have got 50,000 G. So... Yeah, it's unfortunate we didn't win, but it's fine. Morning. You lost. Try not to be sad, okay? Morning. I wonder what people can do to eventually get used to milk. The milk that Camus produces is so good. Morning. You are so close to winning. Well, if you don't succeed at first, try and try again. So next year we'll win easily, if I have any milk. That's too bad, Raguna. Good morning. That's too bad you didn't win. There's always next year. Morning. He lost the dairy show, eh? To be honest, I don't really like milk, so I don't really care about the dairy show. Don't feel bad about losing. Everyone knows Camus makes the best milk. Morning. <laughs> well, I have been doing this a lot longer than you. Maybe next year, eh? Seriously, I would have kicked the crap out of you if only I had been dumb. Good morning. Sorry that you lost. I'm sure you'll win next time, Mr. Raguna. Good morning. You were so close, but you can definitely win it next year. Good morning. Oh, really? Camus won it? Well, we all have our bad days. Good morning. But as with anything, it's the fun that really counts. Good morning. Anyway, I love the festivals in this town. You too, right? Man, I wish I hadn't been dumb. <laughs> morning. Well, it seems like Camus's milk still has an edge. It ain't the end of the world. Morning. What? You lost? I'm not interested in losers. If. You're unlucky this time, but you'll win it next year. Good morning. Camus's milk has such a rich flavor. Awesome. Raguna, your milk was so tasty, but I just feel it lacks a certain je ne sais quoi. Good morning. So you didn't win. Too bad, a real man wouldn't give up. He keeps working at it. Good morning. It seems even your milk isn't that good yet. Rude. Win or lose, the most important thing is the effort you put into it. Good morning. Well, Camus does know how to produce a good... Uh, well, Camus does know how to make a proper glass of milk. Of course, I am a bit biased. Good morning. So, you didn't win this time. You'll do it next time. Good morning. So it's okay to lose. There's always a next time. And the festival is done for this year. So... We are going to head out and do something. What are we going to do? I really forget what I was planning on it. Um, frack. Frick frack, I was taking a bath. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we're heading up to Mount Gigant. Uh, if we head up here, I want to do some fishing in Area 3, one of the only areas you can fish in. That way we can actually try to catch the Fall Flounder. It's one of the fish we're missing on our list, and it is possible to catch it, I believe, with our current rods, so, you know, cross our fingers. Oh, skill up. Interesting. Alright, cool. Birdwing. Okay, cool. So I'm not guaranteeing we can catch this yet. But, it's better to try and fail and get some experience along the way, rather than just say, oh hey, I can't do it. A Crucian Carp. I believe I've never caught one of those, so that's very nice. Another Crucian Carp. So that's both the Crucian Carps we actually need, so that's very nice. So out of all the fish we can get here, we can get the Gabellio, the Rainbow Trout, the Crucian Carp, speaking of the devil, the Fall Flounder, and the Cherry Salmon. None of them are unique to the Area 9 fishing hole, which is the one with the Buffamoo, but the Fall Flounder is unique to this hole over here. So, fish here if you want a good time. That is one of the two Gabellio we need. Let's 
skill up. Let's drink orange juice. Did not help me at all. Let's drink an antidote. So I got two out of three? No, two out of two. Cool. I got both of them I need. So here in the frying pan, we're going to make a fried gabellio. And we take a crucian carp and make a fried crucian carp. Alright, we have the crucian carp. These fish mostly eat plankton, making them very difficult to catch. Fried crucian carp, salted crucian carp fried in a pan, the tried and true way, remember, fresh is best. Gabellio, very few male fish of this type exist, inhabits calm areas with little current. Fried gabellio, salted gabellio fried in a pan, the tried and true way, remember, fresh is best. And we're just going to sell the rainbow trout sashimi, because why not? Alright, another day gone. And honestly, a lot of progress made. We're coming out ahead. <laughs> Every day I'm making little bits of progress, filling out my shipping lists and everything else, and the catching list. So I'll be to no time, really. <sighs> of course it was today. Alright. So that sucks, but I mean, at least I can keep making progress. It would I didn't even need to win the other one. I think it might raise my affection though with people, which would have been nice. So today, we're shipping a large milk, a large fur, and a large egg. Three more items down on my list. So while I'm thinking about it, I actually want to tame one of these monsters because they actually produce something I want. And it's fine that I get the poison status because it's easy to cure. We're not gonna name it Squar. We're gonna name it... B-Boy. So it'll probably be in my third one? No. Fourth one. Oh right, yeah. I actually forgot that that was full. Okay, um, affection doesn't really matter, but what does matter is the fact that it gives us honey. Honey is only produced by bees like that, the different kinds of bees. I've probably said a couple of them in the different uh, videos I've done. But now that we've shipped that, that's a little bit more of our shipping list done. It's also needed for some recipes, so you know, keep that in mind and get it. It's a pretty good way to earn some money. Also, I just realized that I never actually looked at it in my inventory, so I'll have to try to remember to do that next time. Remember, Gabe, please remember. Let's kill about half an hour. Got a chub. Eh. Okay, so it is now officially 9 a.m. And because of that, and the fact that it's a holiday, hey Ivan! Hey Raguna! So I don't believe I made it in time to actually buy the upgraded stuff, but I can try. Let's see what you have. Next page, oven. Yep, no, he won't sell it to us today. So, next month, around the 19th, we'll be able to do it, but not this one, sadly. Oh well. That leaves a lot of cooking unable to be done until then, which is kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Let's try fishing around Casimir Ruins once again. So, I'm not sure how I managed to catch a flounder here before, because everything I've seen only marks them down as Misty Bloom, but, I mean, it'd be cool if we managed to get them again. If we got another flounder here, that's just one less thing we have to get in Misty Bloom. Oh, we got a 
Cabellio here? What? Cabellio aren't... Okay, this, once again, isn't on my list. I'm very confused, but it's fine. Honestly, it's just kind of telling me what we can catch out here and what how wrong this entire list is. Like, the outside of Casimir Ruins is just an oddity. Skill up. Nice. I have a feeling like I can't catch this yet with my current rod. As I've spent a couple days out here at this point. Our cooking skill is now a grand total of 66. We can do recipes up to level 76 at this point, though really you're risking your ingredients at that point, so be careful. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess we just cook up this Gabellio. Call that good? I'm gonna make sure that it's just the one thing. Gabellio. Fried Gabellio, yep. Yeah. So nothing new today, but, I mean, you can't get something new every day, right? We're not quite done yet, I guess. We still have watering to do and everything like that, so let's make a little bit of progress on that side. Tauros, Tauros, yeah, Tauros. All right, Tauros. Tauros Cave, the place where I can find Gorilla or Jotrella. I, I, I forget. Uh, Pond Smo. I don't think I need that, but I may as well just keep one at the very least, just in case I'm forgetting something. I may not have cooked it or something. I don't know. Nice. So that's one of, I believe, three, but I'll check. Womp. Yes, one out of three I need. I've already got it. Okay, I've actually gotten all the drill I need. Apparently, I've already done both the fried and sashimi forms of drilla. Gorilla? I'm flipping, flopping. I vaguely remember that, actually, and that's why I started looking through my notes. So, that's the correct fish. That is. Jarella, this winter fish is easy to catch and fun to reel, often used in fishing contests, as well as a pond smelt, which I will check whether I need to cook or not. Boop! That's on the list now. So, pond smelts are already done as well, so I'll just ship that, why not? I guess we'll try for more mesu trout. Maybe I have to catch them late. I'm just going to cast in a different area real quick to see if I can get anything different. I really don't think it makes any difference, but, you know. Yeah, I'm not catching it right now, and I'm not sure that I can even catch it later, so... Rather than just waste my time there constantly, I'm actually going to test a theory. I want to see what I can catch out of this. Just right outside Misty Bloom Cave to see... I'm curious. Because I just... I don't trust anything in this game anymore. Got a chub, which means this may be just considered farmland. Skill up, nice. 
a Mesu Trout. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that is my first Mesu Trout. Um, I'm gonna check. I think I need three of them. Yes, I need a total of three Mesu Trout. Second Mesu Trout. Definitely worth coming down here. I'm glad I attempted this because I'm finding conflicting information here and there. And the fact that I spent such a long time on my farm not getting it made me second guess this entirely. All the other ones say that it's on your farm, but this one says the farmland waterways, which means... What I'm guessing is that you can get it out here in the waterways easier? I don't know. I really am not sure. I'm just glad I'm actually getting them now. So, if I can get a third Mesu Trout today, then I'm all set. I never have to get them again. But I can't just do this all day. I have to go see Lady Ann in another hour or two. Oh. Um... Yep. So the reason I'm even keeping all these fish is purely for the uh, cooking experience. So in the frying pan, if you cook up a mesu trout, you'll get salted mesu trout. And in the knife set, if you chop one up, you'll get mesu trout sashimi. Salted mesu trout. Salted mesu trout fried in a pan. The tried and true way, remember, fresh is best. And mesu trout sashimi. Fresh, fresh mesu trout cut and served raw with soy sauce. The rest of the stuff is all stuff I'm just going to be selling because, you know, I want the experience. Or, rather, I cooked it because I wanted the experience. I just am selling it because I don't really have a use for it. Alright, now we head into the inns to see Lady Anne. It's okay. Have you gotten used to living here, Raguna? How's your field coming along? I don't know. How does this uh, grilled lobster sound? Thank you. This is a grilled lobster, isn't it? Say, did you know today's my birthday? Yes. Yes, I did. All right. So Lady Anne is now at seven friendship with us because of that. If we were to get more lobster, we'd get her even higher faster, but I think this is a fine pace. Melody, Emmett, and Sharon are already at 10. Godwin's the only one down at 5. Now everyone else is a bit higher. Nice. I am honored. Thanks. 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 Thank you very much. Gift! Do come in. Welcome! I'd like a book. I have just the book for you. Soulcraft Beginner. Beginner smithing recipe for like 9,800, I think it was. Soulcraft intermediate, 7,800. Advanced, Leo's advanced smithing recipe, 12,800. And Master, a legendary smithing recipe. Interesting, I wasn't aware we had this. 25,800. I'm not sure I have enough money. Oh, I do. How much money do I have left? Uh, 37,000. Okay, so I can still keep buying, but I should go mining soon. That way I can, you know, restock my money. I figure as the days go on, I'll just keep buying these and getting the recipes in there. I don't really have a use for them, per se, but... You know, just saying that I bought them makes me feel like a completionist. Thank you. Oh. I didn't realize you could buy turtle shells here. That changes something. Give me a moment. Wow, okay, these are seriously only used for one item in the entire game. Okay, so... I was looking at the turtle shell. Apparently, this item is only used in the Atomic Buster, a two-handed sword with 100 attack power. Um, it requires platinum and a weapon called the Bastard Sword, 
Bastard Sword is made from a claymore, iron, and two giant claws, which giant claws we can get from the Titans and Clemens. So you upgrade the it into the Bastard Sword really fairly easily. So once I had platinum, I could actually make this weapon. I will not be making this weapon, but it is good to know. So should you just want to complete your shipping list, you can buy one here. Um, I will not. I'll just fight the enemy when it becomes available. But good to know. Cool. Pineapple juice, huh? Caribou, Malibu, make a moan. Um, make baby boy come out of the shell and raise them. So the 23rd is Godwin's birthday, but we can't well, we can't get his favorite gift, so this won't matter, sadly. The 26th is a treasure hunt, which we will be able to participate in. We won't be able to get the best, you know, result here, but I can at least go into how you do that. And finally, Nicholas's birthday on the 30th. Nicholas's favorite gift, I actually am not sure of off the top of my head, so I'll look it up. So we can't get Nicholas's favorite gift either. It's stew, which we could make if I had actually upgraded the kitchen on time. If I had upgraded the house a little bit sooner, then we would have a... We'd have stew for him, but it's just not going to happen this year. Okay, so something you should be aware of right off the bat. The first day of fall is actually Miss's birthday. Uh, that's good to know because how would you have known otherwise? You couldn't have prepared this gift. Her favorite gift is the emery flower. Uh, you have to be able to get that item and then grow it in time, which I'll check what the emery flowers... Okay, no. Uh, you cannot do this the first year. So, Emery Flower Seeds are only obtainable by the Mini Dragon in Greed Cave. Mini Dragon, you know, in Greed Cave, one of the last caves of the game. You can't do this until minimum... Well, you'd have to get it in winter and then grow it for next year. Uh, what is the growth period of that, though? An Emery Flower takes a full year to grow. So, even if you were to get it in the winter... You wouldn't be able to actually give it to her until the following winter, aka past her birthday. So if you want to see her birthday, you have to give it to her on the third year of the game. It's... that's dumb. <laughs> that That's dumb. There's no sugarcoating in that. That's dumb. So, you know, I'm not going to be showing that then. Okay, and finally... In the plot item section, I'm starting to fill this in. I'm going to be going in and purchasing all of these. That way, you know, by the end of the game, we have all of the plot items here. At least, cross my fingers, we do. I don't actually remember all the plot items, so... There may be post-game ones? I don't remember. <laughs> I'll have to check into that. Out of this one patch of rocks, we got three level one gold, one level seven, one level ten, and one level nine. So that's 1926, about 29 gold. Yeah, that's almost 18,000 gold. So you can see why I'm not exactly hurting. Just, you know... Actually, that's more than that, because also a level four amethyst, which comes out another 2,800. So we got over 30,000 gold out of this. So... Yeah, we're good. We are fantastic. I'm actually going to go mining a bit more, try to get my stock up so that we can get there. We can just go around buying everything as we need. Oh, I just kind of glitched through there, alright. Alright. Oh, that isn't even enough to fully heal us anymore. Nice. Okay, so all in all, so we essentially got 32 amethyst off that. We essentially got 40 gold. Oh wow, we got a level 22 diamond. That's almost 22,000 gold. Yeah, we're set with money. <laughs> At this point in the game, money really doesn't matter. So... 
I'm going to sell these. Call that good. So I can probably get the Mesu Trail in any river, but I don't know where else I could like 100% get it except for here, so I may as well try here. Brains, ooh, oh yeah, to stop my dancing. Oh, one more time, I want to celebrate. I didn't get it this time. So not today, but maybe tomorrow? Question mark? Hopefully tomorrow. Cooking level of 68 at this point. We can cook most recipes. There's like... A small handful. There's some of them that are in the 70s to 90s. I don't know any that's higher than level 90, but, you know, who knows. Alright, I actually need to stop recording now. I have no idea if I'm cutting these into smaller things or if this has been one huge thing, but let's see. This recording alone, just, you know, behind the scenes kind of peak, has been 4 hours and 40 minutes. I actually had to stop the recording before when I was, uh grinding up all of my levels for pharmacy, and that was, I think, already two hours, if I'm remembering correctly. So this has been almost seven hours of stuff between today and yesterday. So, yeah. I have no idea how this is going to be. This is going to be a bit of an experiment for me to see how much I can do, cut it down, and make it entertaining for you guys to watch, because... I'm about out of things to do. Once I do fully run out of things to do and I have nothing else to show you, I guess I'll just be cutting today's. I'll be specifically only recording those event days, and then you guys will just see that. Because you guys don't need to see me catch the same fish every time. You guys don't need to see me do this or that. And if something interesting does happen, I can always flip the recording back on. It's that simple. So guys, next time, let's play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Unless this is midway through an episode for you guys, and then this is incredibly awkward. But I'm keeping it in, because we do it live. I'll, I'm going to try to catch the last Meisu Trout and figure out what else we need to do before fall comes around. Then I'm going to start planting any crops that I need to actually do for fall. Um... Actually, I won't even bother with that. I can do it during the fall itself. I don't need to mess with the caves any. We are just... Th this is where I'm just going to be doing a bit of grinding on that side. The dog started barking midway through that. <laughs> Alright, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.